Hey second grade, ready for an art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher? We're going to be going back over and looking for lines and drawing shapes in butterflies. You're going to be practicing for your expedition starting today. So, before we begin, you will need paper, lined or printing paper is fine, a pencil or an eraser, and some sort of coloring supplies. Actually, that might not be true. You might not have to worry about coloring today. Before we go too far, your guiding questions. How do pollinators help plants grow and survive? How do we become researchers and share our learning? And why should people help pollinators to survive? Your learning targets today. I can use my eyes to find lines and butterflies. I can draw the lines that I find. I can draw a large butterfly. I can practice my art multiple times. So before we go too far, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to start. We're starting your expedition. You are going to be picking one butterfly and you're going to be drawing it again and again and again. I want you to practice it. I want you to have it down really well before your expedition and your, uh, and your um, celebration for learning. Before we do that, I'm going to show you some good examples of some students' artwork and then we're going to, uh, I'm going to use the computer and trace and show you how it looks to look for um, lines and shapes and things like that in butterflies. So let's look at some good student examples. Excellent example. Nice, big butterfly. Got, I love the little details to the lines in the wings. Um, definitely, now this is, this is a mentor level butterfly already. I, I think the only thing I would ask of it is to maybe maybe a little bit bigger. And I will tell you right now that making things bigger will actually help it easier, make it easier for you to draw the details in. But, excellent butterfly. Then we've got another really good example of a butterfly. This one's a little less detailed, but she has got that coloring down. That is mentor level coloring there. So, let's look at what I mean by drawing on, or looking for the shapes and lines in a butterfly. So I've got this picture up, and we're going to start by looking first. I always start with the bodies. It, it's just easiest to me because it lets you see where the rest of it goes. Now, I've already drawn that upper body a little bit too big, so I'm going to erase. I'm going to go back. There we go. That looks better. I'm going to work on the eyes. And right now, I have not drawn any shape that you can't draw. And I've got thin line, thin line, and the antenna. Now this is a painted lady, so you guys should recognize this one. Uh, so in the past we've said we start the bottom one around the middle of the, there we go, middle of the um, big body, and then come back up, and then this one comes out, and I'm going to attack, there we go. I'm not even going to make it go all the way back to the body because it's going to be kind of hiding underneath there. So I've got some really good size going on here. I want you to look. See how long. I'm going to change color. This body is the same length that this is up here with the uh, the tip from the, from the body to the wings. It is also the same from here and down. So if you are drawing, oops, no, I don't want it to draw. Ah, that's not the thing I meant to hit. No, cancel. I don't want to. I don't want to save. I meant to hit the thing next to it. There we go. So if you are drawing your wings, you want to make sure. Let's go back to my color. You want to make sure that your wings aren't too small, like these would be, or way too big, like those would be. So, once again, take a look at the body. If you need to, put your finger next to it and, tr and measure, like, if you can say that this is the length of one finger, and then put your finger next to it and see, oh, I need to go out as far as a finger. You can use an actual ruler, I'm just saying fingers might be easier. 
And what I said earlier about drawing big is the bigger you draw your butterfly, the easier it will be to add on these little details. I'm going to get rid of that wing one more time. That's better. So when I'm looking at these details, I see that about halfway through the wing, the black starts. And then we've got one big line, a little bit down there. Then I've got a white spot, another white spot, little white spots. And then I have all those bumps at the tips of the wings, like we've talked about. And a little bit of that line that goes along the top. Alright, so now I'm going to look over here at the bottom wing. I can see that the black starts right about there. It's got this little crescent right there. And once again, we've got the little dips at the end. And we've got some black and white spots on this guy. And it's the same thing on the other side. Remember, what you do on one side of the butterfly has to be on the other side of the butterfly, too. So next, we're going to look at the butterflies that you are going to get for your uh, expeditions, or to look at for yours. So you can continue drawing the Painted Lady Butterfly if you really like it, but I'm offering you a few other examples that you can look at. There's the Blue Bottle Butterfly. Then there's the paper kite butterfly then we've got the monarch butterfly and our painted lady again your task today is to start working on drawing one of the butterflies practice it first you don't have to work about you don't have to worry about coloring today but i do want you to practice drawing it even if you have to practice drawing it a few times that that's okay you're going to be using connections from the past you're going to look for lines you're going to look for shapes you're going to look for um, how the lines are they big lines thin lines thick lines and which direction do they go stuff like that And if you need me, I'm at afrans at amanaacademy.org. You do not have to turn anything today, but your um, pictures of the butterflies and copies of this PowerPoint will be in that turn in bin, or oops, turn in folder, which will also be linked on your teacher's daily sheets. See you later.